Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will teach you how to create a data entry form in Excel. Uh, and I will show you one example how to create a student enrollment, enrollment form. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So let's create a new sheet first. And let's enter the values of the form, which are name, phone, email, vendor, course, and so these are the basic form fields which we will be using throughout the process. Now select these three cells and merge them into one single cell and copy and paste it to remaining other cells. So for so for these two cells we will see it later. Now let's focus on these four cells now. Now, the thing is whenever I enter any field value here, I want the background color to change it dynamically, right? Currently it is white, right? So I want the field color to change dynamically. So for that, uh, we need to select the cells and apply conditional formatting. So go to conditional formatting and select more rules. From here, select blanks, click on formatting, and here click on this cell, this color, and click on OK. Now we got the background color. Now let's enter and see any text here. Now, if I enter a text here, the background once again changes to white, but I don't want that. I want any other color in place of white. So to do that, let me undo that and let me repeat the same process again. Go to conditional formatting, go to more rules, uh, select the drop down. But now we have to select no blanks. Click on format and I will select this color now or this color and click OK. Right. Now suppose if I enter any text here, I will get the background color as blue, right? So, so that is how this uh, we use the dynamic uh, formatting using this conditional method, right? Now, now uh, whenever I enter any value here, I want to get a tick mark here, meaning the value has been submitted, right? To get that tick value. Uh, I will enter a if formula here which is a simple formula so equal to if the logical test will be this cell equal to if this cell is empty then keep it empty but if this cell has any value then replace it with any text or any number so in this place uh, I am entering only s now but in this case, uh, for this form, I would need, I, I want to replace this S with a tick mark, right? To do that, uh, I will double click on this formula and I will replace this S, uh, capital S with this tick, right? So suppose, so how, here, this is how it will work. Whenever I enter any value here, I will get a tick mark here, right? So let's customize it now now I will copy the same formula to the remaining other fields as well and uh, let's do conditional formatting for this cells as well uh, once again I will go to conditional formatting click on more rules select as no blanks click on format and I will choose this dark green and click ok and I will also change the font color to white and click on OK. Right now, I will enter the form fields one by one here. Right now, you can see how dynamical, dynamically the tick values are getting entered. It, it basically means the values are getting filled. Right now, now let's move on to the next one. This course here. 
so in for this course we need to create a drop down values right for to create a drop down value we need to use data validation to use with data validation the shortcut key is alt a b b right from here we need to select the list and create course names by using commas for now i am creating these three courses now the drop down has also been created right now the next step is to create the gender values here so the gender values will be male and female so here i will be using the radio button to use the radio button go to the developer tab click on insert and click on radio button and drag it till here now you can drag it till here and rename this as male right now again click on this copy it and again paste it here and rename this one as female right now now we have created the form fields the next step would be to determine the values of this male and female to determine the values of this uh, male and female genders right click on this radio button and go to format control and here we need to link any cell uh, so here select this option choose any cell in the sheet and click here and click ok and click ok now our values are determined so for female the value will be 2 and for male the value will be 1 right now in the same way we have to do the cell differencing for these values as well name, phone, email uh, gender course and address as well right let's do that now to do that start the formula with equal to sign and uh, click on this cell and click enter once again uh, enter equal to sign click on this phone number value click enter once again equal to sign click on the email value and click enter so for the gender value we have to use if condition so we can't use the simple formula we have to use the if condition to get the uh, gender values right so for that i am writing the if value here uh, open bracket so the, the logical test here will be this one this cell right not this one because we have already linked this cell with these two right so this will be the logical test is equal to if the value is one uh, then give me the value as male uh, double quotations and if the value is not 1 then give me the value as female close the double quotations and close the bracket hit enter now we can test this value as well now select I am selecting the female option now you can see the values are getting changed right, right. now let's proceed further uh, equal to sign and select the course values click enter and once again equal to sign select the address value and click enter right now we uh, merged this uh, cell differencing using this form fields right now uh, let's create a cta button here for this form so to create a cta button once again merge this three cells into one and from here let's apply a background color uh, i'll take a light color and the text color will be this one and write it as submit and from here we need to link the form inquiries to this cta button right so whenever i fill a form here i, I enter the values here the cta button Whenever I enter, I complete the form here, the CTA button needs to be, the color of the CTA button need to be changed, right? Currently it is right, light green, right? So, I want the CTA button color to be changed to dark green. So, to do that, we have to write a formula uh, which basically counts uh, the form inquiries here, right? To do that, 
I will be using count a formula so which basically counts the inquiries in the form so select uh, each fields one by one and enter a comma and from gender you can select it from here and course and then address now close the bracket and click on enter now what does that six determines uh, six determines the the number of entries in this form right suppose if i remove this phone number then the count will be five so that is how this count formula works for us right now we have to link this count to this uh, cta button to do that we have to copy this formula from here copy it and click on the cta button once again go to the conditional formatting click on new rules and use uh, choose the rule type as use the formula to determine which cells to format here paste the formula is equal to six so six is the current number of entries right so that is why we are using six now click on format here choose the font color as white and the fill color will be dark color and click on ok right. now if you observe here if i remove these values the form color will automatically get changed see you can see here the form color has changed now if i enter all these values again let me enter all the values once again and observe the CTA button color. Now you can see the CTA button color has changed here, right? So that is the main technique behind using this count formula, right? Now, now let's move on to the next step, uh, which is cut this CTA button from here and paste it here and copy this cell click on paste special and click on linked picture and move this picture to this place and change the picture style you can choose any any picture style whichever you want right now let's create a new tab so here we have to create a new tab basically to record the form entries right so let me rename this tab as form and this tab as table so here we will be creating a table with form values which are name phone email gender course and address right now here we have to create a table so to create a table click ctrl d and select this option and click ok now we have created a table here right now now let's create one more sheet here so this sheet we will be using to deploy the formulas so we need to deploy this formulas in the raw data here right so before doing that uh, let's enable the macro recording so to enable the macro recording we have to go to the view tab click on macros and record macro here we have to name the macro as form right you can name it anything but i am choosing form as a macro name now uh, copy this formulas here and go to this click on this cell and right click on it and click on paste special here you need to select the values and transpose and click on ok now here you need to once again copy copy this cells go to table select the first cell click on insert and insert copied cells right now once again go back to this first tab remove the select this cells and delete the values from here select the first cell 
once again go to view select the macros drop down and click on stop recording right now click on the submit cda button right click on it and assign macro here and from here we need to select the macro which we created earlier right so this was the macro which we created earlier so click on it and click on ok now we can remove this uh, data here delete it and now let's test the form here once again so this is a form so let me test the form again some values let me select the course and let me click on submit now let me check the table values so here you can see uh, the form values have been recorded in this table right so let's let me do it once again so i'm entering the name phone number email selecting the coach and address and once again clicking on submit now let's go to the table and now you can see the latest form details have uh, have been recorded here in the first position so whatever the new entries will be recorded will be in the first position of the table right so this is how you can create a form uh, in excel so you can let's uh, name it as student enrollment form let's merge it and give it any background color so so this is how you can create the student enrollment form i hope you understood the process and how we did how we use the conditional formatting and how we use the formulas to create this raw data and the table to get the entries if you have any questions comment below i will answer them thanks for watching